up y'all it's your girl destiny moshe back with another video it's been a minute since i did a sit down video with you guys and today we're gonna do a sit down video because we need to talk we need to have a chat you know what i'm saying so today's video is things they don't tell you when starting your business so get you a pen a paper and let's get everything you need to know before you start your own business before I start, I'm wearing my Showstopper Red Lip Gloss, my Best Seller, and my Be The Queen Lashes. Focus, are you gonna focus? There you go. And my Be The Queen Lashes from our cassette tape lashes. So make sure you shop, make sure you shop beautybeatcls.com. I will have that information on the screen as well. Okay, so on to our first subject upfront costs people don't tell you about the upfront costs especially when you are trying to be creative and stand out so most people do wholesale if you don't know i do do wholesale i do a lip gloss kit so you can start your business at a lower cost than you know what other people would um start off with but if you are being creative those upfront costs are going to cost you a lot because you have to have you know if you're doing like lip gloss you have to have your lip gloss tubes and if you want something that somebody else doesn't have or like very few people have then you're going to have to actually put up the money for that because a lot of people like my stuff who do wholesale are only going to are only going to give you the basic lip gloss tubes and you know of course you can flip it once you make the money back from that and you know get your tube so you know starting that way is easier but for those who just want to jump out there without you know having to do wholesale um that upfront cost is gonna bite you in the booty okay so they don't tell you about that but I'm telling you, upfront costs can be a pain in the butt. You have to have lip gloss tubes, you need your mailers, you need packing stuff if you're going to be shipping. Um, if you have a website, you have, and like people, like I pay for my website for the year, so you have to have money for that. You have to have a lot for upfront costs. Like having a website is not free. It's you actually have to pay for the website and the domain, so that's you know not cheap. Um, if you want to start off with an LLC, you have to pay for that, that's not cheap. Um, like you have to have a lot of upfront costs to start your own business. Number two, sales. So being an entrepreneur, people make it seem like you're going to get sales as soon as you post your stuff online. Like, the minute you post your stuff, you're going to get sales. That's how people make it seem. That's not true at all. I didn't get my first sale until two months into my business. My first sale was two months into my business and I was destroyed like I was like nobody's gonna buy from me and I spent so much money trying to get the perfect tubes the perfect website even though I created my own website it was just like still nobody is buying I'm not gonna get a return on my investment and that sucks so I was just like you know like y'all come buy from me come buy this stuff and i didn't get my first sale till two months in and my first sale was actually a lip gloss kit at 65 dollars that brought my joy like up because i'm like oh my god niggas gonna oh i can't say that word <laughs> oh my god i gotta sell i was like stoked i was on the phone with my step mama and i was like mama mama you won't believe this I got a sale. I was like, oh, it's 65 dollars bought a lip gloss kit. I'm like, oh, snap, mama, let's turn up. Like, this, once you get a sale, 
you know like that that joy and overwhelming was and appreciation for that first person to buy from you I'm not like a family friend but like an actual person who's nowhere around you near you like that was the epitome like because I, I was like nobody is buying for me it's two months I started my business in May and here it is July and I haven't made a sale and then all of a sudden it comes so sales do not come for most people right off the bat that that's something they don't tell you but I'm here to tell you you might not get your first sale the first day the first week the first month the first year but I mean I got myself my first sale the second month and then I kept getting sales after that. So, please, please know when you're not, when you put that business online and nobody's buying from you, please know you might not get your first sale anytime soon. A third thing they don't tell you when starting your business is you will have, a, you might have a dry spell. So, um, you might have a day without a sale you might have a week without a sale you could go months without a sale and that dry spell after making your first sale is hard as hell excuse my language but it is because you feel you think like once those first few sales start coming in and nobody's buying from you and I'm telling you guys from my experience like this is all my experience so when nobody buys so no buys from you it sucks because it's like what am I doing wrong why am why is everybody else excelling and I'm not you know like my most of my sales come from hand hand sales or however you, however you want to say it or like local sales and stuff like that not online so you know when you don't get those sales you're just like why am i still doing this you no know, like why why keep going you know it's like you want to quit almost because it's like it's not making you a profit you're not getting the exposure you want you're not getting the sales the money it's not coming in rapidly so you just like what's next you know so i'm gonna tell you don't quit you know that's one thing i i do see people telling you don't quit but I, they don't tell you reasons leading up to it so i see a lot of entrepreneurs giving up because for one they don't make sales or they have a dry spell keep going so yeah another thing they don't tell you when starting your business that you need to network so uh networking can boost sales it could get you exposure um and a way of networking i can say you can reach out to uh other entrepreneurs do giveaways with them uh you can reach out to family and friends if they're willing to promote for you um go to events go to buying events go to facebook groups instagram groups twitter groups wherever you social live i guess <laughs> um and network so put your product any and everywhere and you see an arguments comment in the, on the shade room and i'm shop beauty beats cosmetics just letting you know okay on to your conversation just you know what up <laughs> just too little like oh you know who is this like this is random you know so they might click on you that's some engagement some exposure you know what i'm saying and you might just get a follow but that's just a way of networking so make sure your network network is key another thing they don't tell you when starting your business is pr or ambassadorships so when you when people do a pr search it's just like okay um 
they're searching for people to come to that well promote their brand and sometimes PR searches can be hard because what though you might not get what you're looking for so for instance I did it I did my one PR search I'm on my second PR search now so if you want to be a part of my brand ambassadorship um, slash PR search then follow me on the other one Follow me on Instagram, BeautyBCOS. I'll have all my social medias linked down below. So make sure you check that out if you're interested in being a brand ambassador. Um, but my first PR search did not go good. One, because I didn't have the amount of followers that I needed to repost. So I have 9,000 followers on my personal page. Um, and like two something on my uh, business page. I don't too much get on my personal page simply because ever since my page got hacked uh, either last year, I think it was last year, my engagement has been going is, is flush. So I'm at the stage that I'm thinking like I want to start all over but you know I, I took a long time for me to build where I am now. So it's like it's a tussle right there. So I don't get much engagement on that. But it's more engagement than I get on my, my business page. So I use both. Uh, but like I said, it didn't yield me the results that I was looking for. So um, I only had like three people sign up for it. Well, uh, well, that told me they were interested in my um, PR search. But out of those three people, they one had like... 200 and one had 64 and one had 3,000 so I canceled it because I'm like this is not what I'm looking for I need people that's like literally into makeup I need people that's into influencing reviews I need people who are looking to actually promote because I was on that side of the spectrum so I know how it is to be an influencer and also a business owner so I know what I'm looking for you know so I'm grateful that I had that influencer um, background before I actually started my business because now I, I can decipher who I want to actually work for my brand so my first PR search was like a dud <laughs> I didn't I didn't choose anybody who signed up for it it's like that was not what I'm looking for so I'm currently having my second PR search right now. So like I said, if you're interested, just hit me up and we can talk about it. Another thing for brand ambassadors, um, when you're looking for a brand ambassador, is a lot of us small startup companies, especially if you have like the high upfront cost spectrum, um, you don't have a lot of people, even if you didn't do the, the high um, startup cost, a lot of people don't have the money to give away free product and also you know sometimes people want to get paid to be a brand ambassador if you don't have a way to do that well if you don't know how to uh, get oops. if you don't know how to get brand ambassadors without having to send them free stuff and uh, and or pay them then contact me, um, Beauty BCOS or Destiny Moshe, and I'll give you the rundown for how to, you know, do a PR search or whatever without actually having to send out free products. So, um, contact me if you want to know more about that. So, another thing that comes along with the territory is you will have people who are rude and you will have people who are entitled so a lot of people feel that just because they have um, a following a background or because they do makeup that they're entitled to get your free pro to get your product like people have come to me and they was like oh I have this many followers send me your product who send who product I'm not that's not how you you come to people and I should have screenshot. Did I screenshot it? 
Hold on, let me see. Unfortunately, I deleted the messages I shouldn't have because, um, yeah. But, um, two people contacted me. Uh, one was like, so, uh, you're going to send me free product. Literally, this is her message. You're going to send me free product to promote for your brand? Who? Me? You talking to me? You could have been talking to me. Because, What? So I wrote her back professionally and I told her one, that's not how you contact a brand to get free product or promotion. Two, no. No, just plain no. You know, I did not contact you. I don't even know you. You don't do reviews. You don't do makeup just because you have 2,000 followers on your page does not mean I'm going to send you my product because I don't see any product reviews on your Instagram account. That'll be a dumb on my part. That's out of money and that's out of product. No. Another person sent the same like similar message was like, hey, I have this many followers, send me some product if you want promotion. Where is the sense of entitlement coming from? Like, you don't have the exposure to even try to come from my product. Like, you don't even have 5,000 followers. Like, I would give, you don't even have to have 5,000 followers. You can have 300 followers to be my brand ambassador. As long as you do makeup that looks really good, as long as you have engagement on your Instagram account, and you know, professional, you can possibly be my brand ambassador on my, you know, on my PR list. But you don't come for companies in that kind of way. You just don't. Is you just don't. So, um, not only that. You run, you run the risk of your content being stolen. So, if you guys want a story time on that, well, no, I'm just gonna tell y'all right now. So, um, a lot of us spend a lot of time um, setting up props, taking pictures, making posts because how I'm gonna make them look nice, you know, appealing to the customer then for someone to come along and steal your content not only did they steal my content they were under my post trying to sway my customer like what like my customer was asking me like do um do i do wholesale and i told her yes i do wholesale and she was like well, what are your prices I told her, you know, my prices are pretty low. I have two different options, logo, one with logo, one with no logo. The no logos are cheaper. So the person has one post on their Instagram account, one. And that one post was mine, something that I made. So she goes under the comment and she goes, um, we do wholesale and um, you can buy our vendor list. I got a bubble to fool written on my forehead. Like, who does that? So not only did I delete her comment off my, my, off my post, I went to her page and I said, for one, don't steal my content. This picture is mine. I made this. Two, don't try to come under my post and try to sway my customers to your page. And they're not even giving them the same benefits. You want them to pay for vendors. I'm the vendor. Why would they do that? Like, that'll be stupid to pay for a vendor when I am actually the vendor that they can talk to. 
that's all around dumb. Like, people annoy me. <laughs> people really annoy me. So, yes, that comes with the territory of being an entrepreneur, and they don't tell you that. Um, one of the last final things I'm going to talk about it, when starting a business is unsupportive people. Okay? So, me personally, I have people who are supposed to be my best friends, my friends, or whatever, close family and stuff like that. And I did a like search who wants to promote my brand or whatever so many people was like me 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 and i had to sit back and think like where was this me me i i i when i started nobody here was sharing my post nobody here was saying oh i'm gonna buy this from you or nobody even purchased from me but everybody wants free product okay so not only did i do that i did like a brand investor search for you know friends my close friends and family on my personal facebook page don't send me no from request my personal facebook page because it would not get accepted i that's some things i want to keep personal so i have things that's open for everybody but some things I want to keep personal. <laughs> so, you know, I did a brand ambassadorship and um, on my my Facebook page, and some of the same people were like me. So, in between of the first um, search I did to this one, nobody has reposted my stuff. Nobody has reposted myself. Nobody has reposted my my pictures. Nobody has reposted my business page. Nothing. But when it's an opportunity to get free product, oh, you on board for that? But you're my friend. But you're my cousin. But you're my aunt. And you only want to support me when you think you gotta get free stuff. Not I set the cat. So only people that I'm looking for are my friends and family is people who actually purchase from me or who's actually been um promoting me like i don't care if you're my best friend i don't care if you're my sister I don't care if you're my cousin my uncle auntie no nobody my mama can't get no free product for me you gotta promote me no free product mm, grandma too like that like you will have so many unsupported people like i said most of my sales come from on hand you know with friends and family um don't knock the on hand sales that's still money don't knock the on hand sales you just have to figure out a different way of different approach of how to bring in other um business so oh let me tell you about this one time i paid for a promotion and you can do do can do pay promotion you just have to figure out how how it works no trial and error is good so me i paid for a promotion from a guy who had eight hundred and three thousand followers and i paid 25 dollars. i'm just being upfront with you guys and out of that 25 dollars, i was expecting maybe a few hundred few thousand followers back maybe two to three sales that would have been good on my investment I got 15 followers and no sales. None. Being honest to God, this is what happened. I got 15 followers and no sales. Zero zilch. Nada. Okay? So, um, as a brand, it kind of hurt a little bit because I'm like, I pay, I, that's money from my brand that I gave to you and that was nothing in return and you know so it was like for one it was my mistake yes he has the following yes he has the views um yes my 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 post did get interaction on his page however it did not receive to my page and partly because he's a man and 
there is no actual oh i like this you know like if he was to say oh these are nice this was you know this is fire or whatever i probably could have gotten more because it's just like the the sway of your followers to this brand and you say you like something they want oh i'm gonna check it out but if you just sit it there and don't interact with it yeah <laughs> yeah you might not get it the back so it's best to do your own promotion run your own ads um get somebody that's actually into makeup into eyelashes if you're gonna actually pay somebody else to promote your brand um yeah things like that so um you know this is just a lot of things people don't tell you when starting your business it's hard it's not easy you have to have the willpower to keep going because there are so many times I wanted to throw in the towel so many times. I wanted to throw in the towels and my friends, my true friends and family is like, if you throw in the towel, I'm going to be waiting at your door with, with a belt. Okay? And I'm too old to be getting whooping, so you know, I'm still here. <laughs> but um, this is just a lot of things I wish people told me before I started my business. I would have researched more into paid promotions. I would have researched more into um, starting off small rather than starting off as a creative, you know, because um, I spent thousands into my brand before I even had a sale, before I even had a name for myself, before I was promoting. I was spending thousands behind the scene. So um, if you would think about it you should probably start off small and then build up to what um what you want your brand to be i probably would have um uh, i probably still would have did my um boxes custom but like paying so much for uh, lip gloss tubes um ingredients stuff like that i probably would have went the wholesale way before I started actually with you know my own custom well it wasn't custom but I was like one of the first people to have my little pink tubes so um yeah I would have probably exnate on that idea <laughs> But um, I, this is just a few things. If I can help somebody else out bef um, when they're, you know, starting up a business, then I hope I did because I wish somebody would have told me this before I started my own. And, um, yes, yeah, so that's all I have to talk about today. But if you guys are interested in my lip gloss or my eyelashes, I do have them on my site. I'm currently having a flash sale. So make sure you check that out. All lashes are $10 today. I don't know how long this sale is going to run. But I'm having a sale. So make sure you guys check that out. I will have my website to shop down in the description. And also the links to my social medias. Um, I do do wholesale. So if you want wholesale um, lip glosses. I have prices. That's also on my website as well. You can um, contact me on my social medias. I will help you out there. I'm super friendly. Customer service is 24-7. Um, yeah. So I hope this helped somebody out. And share this video with your friends. Like, they going to need it. Whoever wants to start a business, let them, you know, share this video with them so they can see.